Before you begin, keep the end in mind. St. Thomas Aquinas. Before you begin, keep the end in mind. Before you begin anything, you should keep the end in mind. What does that mean? Well, a seamstress or a tailor, before, if they have something they plan on making for someone, before they begin, they keep the end in mind, so they lay the pattern out just so-so, so they get the most out of the material, and they cut the pattern, and they cut the material, and put it together, and they have a beautiful suit. And if they kept the end in mind, the pinstripe suit would go this way. Not this way. Before you begin, keep the end in mind. Or a builder would want to make sure that the architect had all the proper things on the drawing that needed to be there so they would build correctly. So the structure wouldn't tilt, so on and so forth. Or Gary, who put in our air conditioning system here, he made sure that he understood the volume of this room so he could put in the proper air conditioning that we needed to cool this room down, so he had the end in mind, and we have the proper system that cools this room down very well. Thank you, sir. In the, in the dead of summer, thank you very much. Before you begin, keep the end in mind. That's what the readings are about today. The readings are telling us that we should always have the end in mind. That the bridegroom, our Lord, is coming, the second coming, is just right around the corner. And if we keep the end in mind, all of our actions and the way we live our life will fall in proper order. And the first two readings help us with that on how to live so we understand that end game. We're not foolish, but we are wise. The second reading, it's all about hope. We are all going to die, yes? Yes. But we have hope. We know, we know that Jesus conquers death. We know that Jesus is a bigger Savior than we are sinners. That indeed we have hope. That's something to put in our arsenal. Something to live by, to have hope that death does not have the final say. It's a transition. So how we live accordingly in hope keeps the end game in mind, does it not? But the first reading, resplendent and unfading is wisdom. And guess what? Y'all got it. It's the gift of the Holy Spirit. Wisdom is yours. And wisdom is not the same as knowledge. There's a lot of people with a lot of letters behind their names, degree after degree after degree, that really don't have wisdom. It's not the same as knowledge. Wisdom is understanding that we live in the divine and the divine lives in us. And we have the end game in mind. And the things that we do in life, whatever it is, whatever I decide this moment, for the next hour, for the next hour, for the next week, it should have my eternal consequence in mind. It's true. Before you begin, keep the end in mind. So we're not foolish. We're wise. There was a gentleman here at St. Andrew years and years ago who passed on, and he and I became friends. And Carl would come to morning mass. It was a daily communion. Okay, here we go. I apologize. Carl would come to morning mass, and afterwards, he would come down to my store. I had a little store down in Milford Shopping Center. And he'd come in with a cup of coffee, and he would sit in my store, and he would want to chat a little bit. And he would affectionately say, I, I come in for a wisdom fill-up. And I would look at him and say, give me the coffee, let me sit down, let me fill up on you. And this guy was just oozing with wisdom. He was very wise. Lovely man. One of the wisest things he ever said to me, he's like keeping the end game in mind. For those who really know me, know that I'm a hand wringer. I worry about everything. I, it just, it's, it's, it's crazy. I drive my wife nuts. I just worry. 
It's in my DNA. I don't know why I do this. But Carl looked at me one day and he said, you know, if you can't do anything about it, why are you worrying? You know, this is bigger than anything that you can handle. Why are you worrying? Think about how much life you're wasting wringing your hands. And I thought, oh my gosh. It just was an aha moment for me. This man with such wisdom. It was almost as if he was saying, as you live your life, keep the end game in mind. If you can't handle whatever it is, let it go. Let it go. There's a lot more to life than hand-wringing. Make good decisions about your life. Don't waste life because you worry so much. Never forget that. But the greatest thing about Carl and our friendship, and being a minister in the church, I was very privileged to be at his deathbed. And I went to the hospital room, and he asked everyone to leave, and he and I talked. And he wanted to unload some things that he had burdened himself with over, over life, this very wise man. And I assured him I was not a priest, I cannot forgive sin, but I can pray with you. And he said, that's all I want right now. I just need someone to pray with me. And we prayed. And we cried. And he gave me more of his wisdom. And we cried some more. But the greatest thing about that moment was this. He said to me, he had one son. He said, I'm going to let my son know that I tried to teach him how to live. Now I want to teach him how to die. And he did. With much dignity. With much faith. And with much hope. Carl was a good man. And he illustrated well that throughout his life, he made some mistakes. But he always had the end game in mind. He knew one day, like all of us, there'd be that moment that we can't be foolish with our lives. And we have to be ready. And we can't be one of the fools that goes to a faith-filled person like Michael and says, Michael, give me some of what you have. Just give me some of your oil. You can't share your spirituality in that last moment. You can't sp spread it over to someone else. All of life, every decision we make, we should be wise in our decision making with the end game in mind. And like Carl, hopefully when we are ready to pass on, maybe there are people who could say about us, you really taught me how to live. More importantly, maybe they'll say, wow, you really taught me how to die. Before you begin, keep the end game in mind.